Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase from On Rolling Stone today, and this is going to be in the Canto Cup, and this trainer is a legend from this season, so that's awesome. Congratulations on hitting legend. Uh, but yeah, so the team is actually going to be a triple legacy team. So we do have Weeping Bell with Razor Leaf, Dugan with Ice Shot and Icy Wood, and Primeape with Crush Chop. So all of those need an Elite Charge TM or an Elite Fast TM to get the moves. Uh, but yeah, it looks like a really powerful team. Let's go ahead and just dive right into the commentary right now We do have the Dugan going for Icy Wind and we do see a shield there uh, So this Hypno is maybe no, they're not gonna fall down Okay, so Hypno just gonna go ahead and throw the Thunder Punch which will be enough to KO But we do see a shield from the Dugan uh, Dugan wants to get off this uh, Icy Wind which it does but the opponent does pull a really nice switch there but you know that Chansey is gonna be well, not forever debuff because they could possibly switch out at some point. However, Primeape is coming in and Primeape doing a lot of damage with Counter and Cross Chop, even though Chansey is an absolute tank, and it really is, guys, I'm telling you. Chansey is such a tank. Uh, Primeape still dishing out some good damage to it. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and shield this. Psychic would do a lot, it might actually even KO the Primeape. The only reason I say might is because Chansey has a low attack, so it doesn't really have a good attack. Uh, stat, but uh, you know, Primeape is really squishy, so it might. But this Primeape is absolutely loading up on energy. Gonna go ahead and go for this Crush Chop. That is gonna be enough to KO, but it does have a lot of energy, so very nice over farm. We do see a Hypno come in, and this Hypno is gonna be hit with the Night Slash attack. Uh, we do see a shield from that Hypno, makes sense. And the opponent actually pulls a switch to catch on that back Pokemon, which is going to be a Snorlax. So beautiful catch by the opponent there, but in comes Weeping Bell. Weeping Bell looking to do a lot of damage. Uh, Body Slam should not KO the Weeping Bell at this health, so you're not going to go ahead and KO. That's fine. Uh, can we see a farm down? Oh my gosh, very close, very close farm down. Oh man, the Snorlax has an attack. Okay, so that's going to be a good game. Well played, unfortunately. Not able to win that one, but that is okay. We're going to see a loss there, but that's fine. Uh, well played nonetheless. We're going to go ahead and move into the next one and see how the next game goes. We've been bell into a Lowland Sand Slash. Definitely a bad matchup. You do have to get out. Yeah, you have to go into Dugan, even though that's not a good matchup at all. Uh, the opponent does switch into Wigglytuff, which I, I do understand because Wigglytuff definitely wants to avoid the poison user in the lead, right? So I do understand that switch. However, Dugan has an opportunity to flip switch here, and I think it's going to be able to because of these debuffs. We do see another Icy Wind come in. The Wigglytuff may shield this. They don't actually shield it. Uh, so Dugan just going to let this go. Now keep in mind, Wigglytuff is debuffed twice, so he probably takes this. As it does, Dugan able to flip switch without investing a shield. That is huge, because now you're going to have Primeape on that Alolan Sand Slash. And this Icy Wind is going to, hey, it's the sugar on, on, on top, right? <laughs> you know, it's not going to do much, but it will debuff that Sand Slash. And now the Primeape can come in. Another Charm user, but out comes this Weeping Bell. So yeah, if you lost Switch, of course, this would have been a lost game. Uh, there was nothing you could do against these two Charm users. Uh, Primeape cannot handle Charm at all, but uh, because I'm Rolling Stone was able to flip switch, they're actually able to uh, win this one, yeah. Because even though, I mean, the Sand Slash does get a pretty decent amount of farm, Primeape can come in and honestly just farm down double shield, right? Um, plus it also survives like a nice punch anyway, but it could double shield and just farm down. Only has to invest one shield. So that is a great game. Flipping switch 100% mattered there. And that was a great game. Very well played. Uh, but doubles, double, uh, Alolan Ninetales double charm. So very nice uh, team by the opponent. But uh, yeah, able to win that one. So very nice. So let's move into the next one. Going to be Weeping Bell into Needle Queen. Okay. Um, yeah, I would say, I would argue this is probably uh, pretty much neutral. However, Weeping Bell will have to shield because Needle Queen does get to its attack first, of course. Uh, so can Weeping Bell farm down before another attack? Three, four... Oh, they're able to try and catch it. They don't even throw. They were maybe going for an Earth Power or a Stone Edge, whichever they had. But Dugan able to snipe them down and take that matchup. Uh, so now Dugan is up against Lapras, which is not a good matchup for the Dugan because Lapras does have an out, right? It has uh, Skull Bash, or at least access to it. I'm assuming this one has Skull Bash, but I guess it could have Ice Beam. But either way, it, it does do neutral damage and a lot at that to Dugan. It is Skull Bash. Whereas Dugan's attacks are all resisted. Uh, so the Ice Shot, Icy Wind, going to be double resisted. Water Pulse is going to be single resisted. But uh, still not really doing too much to the Lapras. Lapras is charging up a lot of energy. So is Dugan. Um, okay, so it looks like Lapras will throw an attack. 
This could be a Skull Bash. If it's a Surf, it probably doesn't KO. It is a Surf, it does not KO. Dugan unfortunately throws the Icy Wind. They were trying to switch out there uh, to save that Icy Wind, but they do throw it. That's fine. In comes Weeping Bell, but the opponent switches into Kangaskhan. You absolutely love to see it. So Kangaskhan has Mud Slap, uh, which is really good in this meta because there's a, there's a lot of like poison types that are weak to it, or like the dark poison types, like Lowood Muck. Uh, right, uh, of course, Mudslap doing really well against it, against those Pokemon. Uh, so in comes Primate. Primate having a great day against a normal type, though. Gonna go ahead and take it. If it's a Power Punch, it's not gonna do much. It is a Power Punch, not gonna do too much. Uh, I mean, honestly, that's adding up with the Mud Slaps, but uh, still obviously not gonna shield that. In comes Lapis, that is a good game. Very well played. Primate actually just able to win that one. Um, so great game, well played. Uh, I know my webcam is... Uh, you know, kind of like an awkward position. I'm kind of uh, adjusting my setup because uh, for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, I plan on streaming those as well. So uh, bear with me, guys. I'll get it in a better position, the webcam, and uh, moving forward at some point in the future soon. But uh, that's okay. So Weeping Bell will go ahead and shield that. Going to be a foul play, of course. They bring in the Mew, but out comes Dugan. Hmm. Dugan coming in against Mew. Very interesting just because of the Wild Charge, uh, which Mew probably has. Uh, it does have Wild Charge, so going to be doing a lot of damage. Uh, so Dugan going to go ahead and go for this Icy Wind. Uh, wants to get the, the Mew low, and we're going to see a shield there. That makes sense, but I wonder if they're going to go for the Fun Down. They are going for the Fun Down. This allows Dugan to get to another Icy Wind. So Dugan is actually going to take this matchup or take both shields. It does get both shields very nice. Uh, so Dugan will go down. Uh, but in comes Weeping Bell. Now, Weeping Bell does resist Surf and Wild Charge if that is the moveset. And we do see another Wild Charge, and they actually get to another one. So, this Mew is absolutely going off. Uh, so, uh, yeah, getting, getting the Weeping Bell really low, both switch at the same time. So, this Electrode wants to get to a Discharge, but not quite able to get there. Primeape is going to go ahead and go for this uh, Crush Trap, which will be enough to KO. Very nice. We know the Mew is almost gone. Right? Uh, it's going to be a fighting type. going to be a Primeape of their own. Okay. Uh, so this Primeape able to get to the Cross Chop. This is going to get the Primeape super low. I don't think it KOs. But it will get it very low. Yeah, like one more counter away uh, from going down. And Primeape can just shield and go for counter and take this game. Uh, so, well, there's still a Mew in the back. But Mew is going to go down. A couple counters. Able to finish it off. Primeape is a really good Pokemon. Imagine the Shadow Primeape. Like, whenever that becomes a thing. Uh, that's going to be so strong and so powerful. Now, of course, it is really squishy. So, it really cannot take hits. I mean, it goes down super fast to Charm, for example. But it's so powerful. It really is. Um, okay, picking up a pretty good matchup. Uh, they do switch into Mew. So, out comes Dugan. Another Dugan. Uh, switch and well, I mean, I understand this this one because Dugan definitely wants to avoid the Machamp, right? Because it's a fighting type, going to be taking a lot of damage because of Dugan's ice typing. Um, <clears throat> so this is fine, but we'll see. Going to go ahead and take it. Wild Charge is not going to be enough to KO. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, not going to be enough to KO, but this will KO if this is a Wild Charge. So going to go ahead and shield. Yep, makes sense. Dugan definitely wanting to flip switch so you can realign the Weeping Bell onto the Machamp. Maybe force the shield as well with the Icy Wind because this is still going to do a lot of damage. Shadow Machamp, ultra squishy guys. Machamp going to go ahead and farm down. Uh, now you could bring in Weeping Bell. Now Weeping Bell will take a lot from Rock Slide or Payback. I assume Rock Slide, but Payback is a thing as well. They switch into uh, Snorlax. Out comes Primeape. You absolutely love to see it. So Primeape, absolute. There's so many things weak to fighting types. Whether you're using Primeape, Shadow Machamp, or even Hitmonchan, right? There's so many Pokemon weak to fighting types. We have the Dugan, as we saw here. Snorlax, Chansey, Lickitung. Uh, Alolan Sand Slash, so many Pokemon weak to fighting types. I feel like every team probably wants a fighting type on their roster. That's how good it. That's how good it is, right? Of course, we saw a double charm team. You can't really, you know, yeah, fighting type's not going to do well against those, but uh, you know, still really, really solid to at least have one, at least one uh, fighting type. Whether it be most, I think the most common one is Shadow Machamp, but Primeape is definitely very uh, big as well and really solid. Uh, but let's go ahead and move into the next one. Actually, I don't even have a Primate build, to be honest with you. I have a good IV one. I just don't have a build. Uh, I usually, for my fighting type, I do use Shadow Machamp. But uh, either way, the Muck is coming in. Uh, so in comes Primate. Primate, again, 
doing pretty good here. Of course, the fighting type attacks are neutral, uh, but they can't go for like Dark Pulse because it's resistant. Well, they could, but it's resistant, so it's not going to do much. So you generally expect a Sludge Wave. Sludge Wave will do a lot, so Primate will shield and able to get the farm, honestly. Yeah, they're going to be able to farm down before another attack comes in. You'll love to see it. Primate losing a shield, right? Going down a shield, but has a lot of health. Uh, it has a lot of energy. So in comes Electrode. This Primeape is going to town. We're going to see uh, the Crush Shop able to pick up a shield. Maybe get to another one? No, not quite. Uh, just going to let it go and bring in the Weeping Bell after this. Uh, that actually doesn't even KO. And, oh, they can't get to another Crush Shop, but that's okay. Uh, because Weeping Bell can come in and start shredding with Razor Leaf. Um, yep, that's exactly what's happening. Uh, do you shield? No, not going to shield. This is definitely going to be a foul play, right? Definitely going to be a foul play. Yeah, not going to shield that. Uh, in comes... Oh, Alolan Dug Trio. Okay, I like it. I like it. You know, when I saw the type and I was wondering what, what it was, I, I was thinking Excadrill. I was thinking Glorian Stunfisk. I'm like, wait a minute. Those are not Kanto Pokemon. They're not eligible. So I didn't register that it was Alolan Dug Trio, but I love it. Huge shout out to the opponent for that. Um, I think, I think Home Slice Henry... If I'm not mistaken, uh, made a video on Alolan Doug Trio. Uh, or, or was it the Kanto one? I don't remember. I think it was the Alolan one, though. But either way, great Pokemon to see. Very fun as well. So this Dugan going to be able to successfully farm down. And now we're going to see a Water Pulse come in uh, to this Electrode. And this is going to KO. So that was a great fun. And that was a great game to both trainers. Very well played. Um, yeah, you'll love to see it. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and move into the next battle right now. So it's going to be Weaving Belt into a Lowland Sanctuary. Okay, this is definitely a bad matchup. Uh, so you do have to switch out. Similar to the Sand Slash, you got to leave. Uh, in comes Mew from the opponent. Okay. Um, okay, so going to be Wild Charge. They're throwing immediately, which makes sense because they don't want uh, the Dugan to debuff the Mew, right? Obviously, that makes sense. Uh, so even though the Mew is debuffed now, Mew is going to go ahead and shield. Uh, will the Mew get greedy and farm down? Because if it does, okay, it doesn't. I was going to say, if it does, Dugan can get to another Icy win, but it didn't. It actually threw. Uh, but the Dugan will shield. Now the Mew might shield and farm down. Uh, and honestly, I think it's worth it for them. We definitely do want to try and win Switch here. So yeah, the Mew will shield that, and Mew is going to be able to farm down. Because you do want that Sand True on the Weeping Bell, right? Uh, makes a lot of sense, of course. And of course, I mean, Primate in the back. So unless the Primate can sweep here, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, so Mew is going to go for an attack. It's going to be a Wild Charge. Uh, doesn't do too much. Um, okay, so we know the Sand True is coming in. So out comes Primeape. Oh, Pidgeot. Not great, not great. Um, but to be honest, honestly, I'd rather have the Primeape on the Pidgeot than the Weeping Bell on the Pidgeot, to be honest. Because Weeping Bell is terrible against Pidgeot, so even winning Switch, uh, that would have been terrible. So in comes Weeping Bell. We do see some lag here. Definitely unfortunate. Hopefully it's mutual lag. Oh, oh my gosh. Look, the opponent actually lagging. The Pidgeot's going to go down. Is the opponent... Did the opponent's game crash? The opponent's game might have actually legit crashed. Pidgeot... They just found Pidgeot down with Razor Leaf. No, the opponent's still here. Uh, the Sand True is going to go ahead and throw an attack. Um, okay, we're seeing some more lag. This is definitely unfortunate. This is definitely unfortunate. It's going to be a nice slash. The damage didn't even go through. The opponent's... Oh my gosh, the opponent's not... Oh man, this is definitely unfortunate. This is definitely this is what you hate to see, right? But at the end of the day, I don't blame I'm Rolling Stone for just continuing to attack. It, it's just it's basically what you have to do. We all lose to lag, we all win to lag. The opponent gonna quit out on that one. They maybe they got back in. But yeah, we all win from lag, we all lose from lag. Obviously, you never hope that it happens, but if it does happen, you just continue to attack. What else can you do, right? Uh, I don't think it mattered in that game because both trainers, I believe, were legend. But still, you know, it's definitely unfortunate. Um, but the opponent definitely was going to win that one. But at the end of the day, what can you do? You know, what can you do? We, we, I, I've won because of lag. You know, I've, I've lost because of lag. I remember one game, I don't know if it was season 3 or season 4. It was an early season. You know, my opponent's Meganium. They had a Meganium Midas Skarmory, last Pokemon each. They fawned down my Skarmory. Actually, I don't think it was the last Pokemon. But they fawned down my Skarmory with Vine Whip with Meganium, from the all the way down. I don't blame my opponent for it. I, I just lagged, it happens, you know, it happens. Um, so I never blame my opponent, 
for that, but um, it's definitely unfortunate uh, when it does happen. Either way, that's enough of the lag game. Let's go ahead and jump into this game. Right now we do see a Raichu, a Chocolate Bunny coming in. And okay, so this uh, Weeping Bell doing a lot with Razor Leaf. If it's a Psychic, it's gonna KO. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, it's gonna be a, a Wild Charge. That does so much damage to a Weeping Bell. Wow, that does, Alolan Raichu is so powerful. But Primate comes in, this is gonna be a good game. Oh no, wait, hold up, Blastoise is coming in. Um, yeah, I still think this is going to be a good game. I think Primeape is going to be able to win this one because it's going to outpace the Blastoids, right? Uh, we do see a Crush Trap there, and they're not actually going to shield it, but I think uh, if you're the Primeape now, I think you could shield the Hydro Cannon and Farm Down. They shouldn't be able to get to two, I don't think. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, so Primeape, yeah, will definitely shield this. One counter away from knocking out that Blastoise. And that should be a good game. Yeah, Blastoise doesn't have two Hydro Cannons, so that is a good game. Uh, very well played in that game. So yeah, great video so far. It's just unfortunately the lag game. That's not necessarily a great battle, but you know it happens. Um, going up against Atari Alex. I think I battled Atari Alex before. I know I've shoutcasted uh, either. You know, uh, shoutcasted. I think that at one point. I know the name is familiar. Uh, but anyway, Dugan into Needle Queen. You love to see it. We're gonna see the Poison Fang here. Uh, they definitely do adding up in terms of damage. I mean. I guess it's not necessarily one side a one-sided fight because the damage from Poison Jab and Poison Fang are adding up, but Dugan's gonna be able to win that one anyway. Um, <clears throat> but they did do a lot of damage to Needle Queen. But in comes this uh, Golem. I wonder if Golem goes for the Fawn Down. I think it, it is going for the Fawn Down. Dugan is gonna go ahead and go for the Icy Wind. Do you, I don't think they shield because they know Weeping Bell's in the back. Yeah, they don't shield. Um, so yeah, okay, so down goes Dugan. Uh, out comes Weeping Bell trying to get it down. Oh, they do get to an attack. Will the Weeping Bell shield this? Yes, they will. It's going to be a... Is that a Wild Charge? No, it's a Stone Edge. I think a Rock Blast or something. In comes Dragonair. Uh, out comes Primeape. Okay, so Dragonair going to go ahead and go for an attack right now. This is going to be... Um, that was... Well, is that not Kotel? But either way, um, this Primeape is going to... The opponent actually might win this if they farm down and throw like a Dragon Pulse. At the uh, maybe a dragon pulse at the weeping bell. I think they could actually win this. Primeape is gonna go ahead and go for another crush job. This will definitely get the shield. All the opponent do is a CMP. That is huge. That is huge. Now the victory. Now the weeping bell should be able to fund down. Um, should be able to fund down before like a, a possible wrap or dragon pulse, right? Yeah, I think the opponent in order to win that, I think the opponent had to fund down with uh, dragon air and then throw like. A dragon pulse or whatever other attack they had like grab whatever whatever stronger attack they had and i think they would have won that but that's okay it happens uh weeping bell into machamp great matchup we do see in the lowland radicate outcomes primate this is beautiful uh of course radicate gonna be double weak uh to fighting and it makes sense to throw the cross trap right because uh you know if radicate got to a hyper thing you don't really want to use a shield especially since hypno is coming in so uh, you don't really have to use a shield just go ahead and throw the cross trap take that matchup uh, so Night Slash will get the shield and Hypno will fawn down. This whole team actually struggles against Hypno to be honest because you have two things that are weak to Confusion and then the Dugan is weak to Thunder Punch which I would say 99.9% .9 of Hypnos do carry Thunder Punch and the Confusions are definitely adding up as well. Dugan is going to go ahead and shield this. Um, able to get it off? Yeah, able to get it off so... Good play, able to shield uh, the Thunder Punch and now get off the Icy Wind so the future Thunder Punches are going to do less damage. But they do switch into Bachamp, out comes Weeping Bell. Weeping Bell having a field day here. Uh, do you shield this? Yes you do. Weeping Bell shields and farms down and then the Razor Leaf damage should be able to pick up the knockout against Hypno. Um, because he, I mean it's going to take a few confusions, right? Oh they actually throw an attack, never mind. So this is, so let's see what attack this is. Oh Shadow Ball, okay that KOs. And now you could bring in the Dugan to fun down, and that is going to be a great game and a great video. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.